finally here. What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Dark Real Action. Today guys, I got an awesome package in the mail. Not just any package, but this. This beauty right here. This is the Red Gills P2 Tackle Backpack. And guys, when I saw this, I just I just couldn't resist. I had to get it. I had to have this backpack. Now today guys, what I'm going to do for y'all is I'm going to go over everything this backpack has to offer that other tackle backpacks don't even have yet. So guys, let's jump into this and I hope y'all enjoy it. Okay guys, so before we get into the awesome Red Gills Tackle Backpack, let's first look at the backpack that I'm rocking right now. Now this is the Outdoor World Backpack from Walmart. I got this for like $20 at Walmart. You know, I just wanted something fast, easy, and relatively cheap. So I went and got this. Now as you can see, all my stuff's really just shoved in there. It holds four boxes that are just shoved in there. Then all my soft plastics, my hooks, other things, they are shoved all in there. And it's just a cramped mess. I got my little pliers on the side right here. I got my fish grips right here. And I mean, it's a good backpack, don't get me wrong. It is a really nice backpack. It does the job, but everything's just kind of cram packed in there. There's no organization at all. Okay, so that's it for this backpack. I mean, $20, got it at Walmart, relatively cheap, does the job. But for doing bank fishing like I do, I need something that's more organized and something that's going to hold more stuff. And just be better for me so that's why I went with this right here the Red Gills P2 tackle backpack now for starters as you notice right here place to hold your sunshades take them put them in there BAM hold your sunshades perfectly Okay, now let's talk about the Red Gills P2 Tackle Backpack and what this guy has to offer that the other one doesn't. First off, as you can tell on top, this hard looking case thing, guess what that is? It is a carrier case to hold your sunshades. So you can just zip this up and guess what? That hard case is going to protect your shades from getting smashed, getting broken, or anything like that. Now what else this thing has to offer that really can't be seen right now is that this fabric is somewhat waterproof. Not completely waterproof, but water resistant is what I should say. So if you ever splash around you get anything on this thing, it's just going to go straight off. It's just going to slide straight off. Okay, now another thing that this has that the other, other backpack didn't have is look at the amount of storage space you have in here. Okay, so this is all my tackle boxes right here. My saw plastics, my crankbaits, my chatterbaits, everything. Everything fits in here perfectly. Go up, you have this little second compartment up here. And that is for holding, like, if you want to put extra baits and soft plastics and stuff in here, you can. But if you're a YouTuber and you're recording stuff and you like to record your fishing, look at all this room for your camera, your GoPro, your chest mount. And then right here, you have this little waterproof section right here for your wallet. You can put your phone and other things right here. That way it's completely water sealed and no water's going to touch it when it's in here. And you come down over here, and guess what? You got a little compartment to hold your water in. Perfect. Hold your water, your monsters, or anything like that. It's perfectly right in there. Then we come back over to this side. And guess what? You got a rod holder. Velcro straps to hold your rod securely in, in place. Right here is where you can put your pliers. Needle nose pliers, uh, hook grips, anything like that. You can put them right in there. It'll hold it perfectly. Uh, you got this little mesh container pouch right here and you hold extra stuff you got this bag right here good little pouch you come down and you got this little pouch right here perfect for holding bags of soft plastics and stuff like that look at all that room. plenty of room right there now going back over to the other side you have the same pouch look at all that room huge huge amounts of room just perfect for holding soft plastics baits and stuff like that hooks and then right here you have this little pouch right here that folds down and it almost acts like a little workstation you have this little like table like thing where you can like tie your hooks on your baits your weights and stuff like that got little extra pouches right back here where you can hold extra stuff and it's just very very convenient especially if you're uh, fishing from bank or you're gonna kayak or anything like that you need every little bit of extra room that you can get and we got it right here 
So guys, this has so much space, so much organization, so much to offer. How could you not want to buy one of these? It definitely beats that $20 backpack from Walmart. Gosh, everything just shoved in there and just stuffed in like crazy. And this, you have everything you could possibly think of when it comes to bank fishing. And it just holds it all from the rod holder, your tackle, your sunglasses, and the little workstation right here you can use to work on. You can tie hooks, not stuff like that. So guys, why would you not want to go out and buy the Red Gills Tackle Backpack? Now guys, when you order your Tackle Backpack from Red Gills, they send you this really cool box. And inside this box is a bunch of really cool little items in here. You got hooks. You got this really cool small little topwater frog. You get some bullet weights if you're doing a Texas rigging. You get a bag full of soft plastics. And, of course, you get the Red Gills logo sticker for your car or anything like that. Just some decal. Now, inside this bag of soft plastics, you get it's a whole different assortment. It, like It's different for every box. It's a whole different assortment of soft plastics. Like, what we have in here is a, uh, looks like a Senko worm for doing some wacky rigging. You got a, a little ribbon tail worm. Looks like a lizard. Uh, you got some uh, crawfish imitation. Looks like a green pumpkin color right there. Another lizard. And then finally you have this crazy looking like bug thing. It's 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 nice size. Look at that. It's got all these crazy blue, black, purple colors on it. It's really cool. Really cool. So, guys, you get all this stuff from ordering Red Gills Tackle Backpack. They offer so many things. You get the box that has a bunch of cool stuff for fishing. And then the bag, just the bag on its own has so much to offer. You got the water uh, bottle holder, the monster holder, whatever you want to use for it. Sunglasses holder. Uh, it holds all your tackle stuff at the bottom. I believe it holds uh, four... 10 inch tackle boxes, 10 to 12 inches is what it holds. Then you have uh, the little fold out little table thing right here that you can use to tie on your hooks, your weights, your soft plastic, stuff like that. And to pr uh, protect your bag from the bottom, it has these, I don't know if you can see them, but like these ridges right here. So when you're in the dirt or anything, it'll protect your bag from actually like getting that moisture and stuff and it'll block it and protect it so it lasts even longer. So guys, I don't know about y'all, but this was an amazing investment on my part. I cannot wait to use it. I'm a bank fisherman for the most part. I, uh, I get in the boats every now and then, but most of the time I'm walking the water, I'm walking the banks, I'm fishing from there, and this is something that is really going to help me out. It is going to make my fishing a lot easier. It's going to hold more of my stuff. I'm going to be way more organized. So I just can't wait to use it. I, I'm, I'm just going to love it. That's plain and simple. But uh, guys, I really hope you enjoy this video. I really hope this video makes you want to go out and buy one of these amazing tackle backpacks because they are amazing and I can't wait for y'all to see them in more of my videos but guys I hope you enjoyed today's video if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel hit that button down there for me just hit that bell so you get more notifications some more videos that come out and guys I'll catch y'all next time peace